Hello my cuties, it is Lady Maybelline. Boy, are you looking beautiful today. So guys, I know some of you know that I have a couple of online shops. I do sell on Depop, Poshmark, Mercari, blah blah blah, all of those places. And I've really been wanting to get more serious and kind of make it like an actual job because I see some people making more than like doctors selling online and I want to do that. Currently, most of my stock is donations, which I am very, 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 very lucky to have. My cousins, my friends, my mom, my, from my closet, pretty much everything I have in my shops are from them. They constantly give me stuff they don't wear anymore and they're the best. I love them so much, but I wanted to get stuff from other places as well. So my aunt took me with her to this place that was like an hour away. They had a store where you could do fill a bag for $5 and then there was a bunch of yard sales and I've never ever in my life had bought uh, stuff like this that was so cheap. The yard sales around me, they sell like stuffed animals for like three, four, even five dollars. The clothes are like three dollars and this stuff was ridiculously cheap. I am so happy. So this is going to be kind of a start of my new shop. Hopefully I can become a millionaire. <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoy and love the stuff I picked out. Let me know if you go to yard sales, do you find stuff for like a quarter or is it like $5 like over here? <laughs> and definitely don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. That will be amazing and you might win a pony. So I'm going to start grabbing stuff and showing you guys. I'll let you know the prices because this stuff was just so cheap. I can't even believe it. Hello, yes, we are in my bathroom. Um, I zoomed out so you guys can see better. I'm going to go ahead and just start with one of my favorite things, which is this big giant bag of stuffed animals. Probably my favorite thing to sell ever is stuffed animals because I love them, I collect them, it's something that I find so fun. I'd rather sell stuffed animals than clothes, but usually clothes sell for a lot more. <laughs> So at the thrift store that we went to, it was fill a bag for $5, like just a regular shopping bag, but it was only clothes. They also had stuffed animals, and these stuffed animals ended up being 56 cents each, and I am so happy, and let me show you what I picked out. So I got this Minnie Mouse. She is a, a Disney store Minnie Mouse. You can see this right here. She has a little stain, but we're going to wash her. We're going to find her a new home, and I'm so happy. I just want to keep picking up stuffed animals. <laughs> I found another Minnie Mouse. She's so pretty and she is in pink. She's a little smaller but still very, very cute. I also just really like picking up characters that I like because it's so much more fun to, <laughs> to list stuff that I love. Ooh, I found this little um, horsey. He is a Littlest Pet Shop plush and I used to be obsessed with Littlest Pet Shops so of course when I saw him I got real excited. Next up we have a Build-A-Bear. This is like a pink leopard Build-A-Bear. So soft, so cute, so sparkly. And like even when I go to Goodwill the Build-A-Bears are getting more and more expensive. They're usually around five dollars so getting her for like 50 cents. Yes! Next up we have Cleo from Clifford. I love Clifford so when I saw Cleo I was like I love this show! And she has a real soft head. This is a character that there's not many plushies of. This is a Coles care, so she's not old. But I'm sure fans of Clifford would love to have her. Kind of want to keep her. I love her. Then I have a Sophia. Here is Sophia the first. <laughs> I love Disney plushies. They're probably my favorite. They didn't have a ton. I pretty much got almost all of them. I'm sorry, children, if you go to that thrift store and there's no more stuffed animals. <laughs> Which is a princess doll, like one of the soft dolls. And then last but not least, I found a Snoopy! And this is also a Coles Care, so it's not uh, old, but I still think he's super cute and yes. I'm just gonna do random bags so I could kind of mix it up. I don't want to show you guys like all the plush or all the clothes at one time. But I found these Levi's jeans. I have the worst time selling jeans, but I kind of want to try. I don't know if it's the brands I'm getting. I know Levi's is very, very popular. So I got this for a dollar, so that's why I decided to grab it, even if, you know, I don't sell well. <laughs> that was the only thing at this one yard sale. My cousin bought a cow. I'm going to show you all the stuff I got from one specific yard sale that was huge. It was the biggest yard sale that we went to and almost everything was a dollar or 25 cents. It was incredible. So I got this big ginormous bag of bows, just like little pretty thingies. So for Christmas, I'm going to put like 18 in everybody's presents so I can use them up. <laughs> but I'm going to have them for years and it was one dollar. Like, <laughs> that is amazing. I swear if I found this somewhere else, it'd be like $8. And at the same yard sale, they had 
No, it was it wasn't Michael Kors. It was books, but not just any books. If you guys have seen some of my videos, you know that I collect goosebumps. <laughs> So I mostly find mine at Goodwill. Um, they're usually a dollar or two dollars, but I get them when they're on sale. So I usually get them for 50 cents, but these were all 25 cents each and this person had a ton of them. <laughs> so I got one, two, three, four. I got 13. So I am beyond excited that my collection collections gonna grow so here are just some random ones I don't know if you guys are too interested but I absolutely adore goosebumps so I'm super duper happy that my collection has grown like a lot more Yoo! yay and here is the last bag from that specific yard sale I love yard sales so they had this cup is sparkly you can put your coffee you can put your cookies whatever you want for one dollar and it looks like it's new so that's awesome I don't know if this will be a present or I'm gonna sell it, but I liked it. Next up, it's this big old sweater. So I got one of these. I don't know what they're called. I just feel like they look like ugly Christmas sweaters. But this one, this one is Easter and it's cute and it's pastel. And I've seen a lot of people who are into some Harajuku fashion wearing things like this. So I was like, why not? It was a dollar, a dollar. I already found it online that and it was sold for 16 plus shipping so that's exciting it has little bunnies it has like this thing I also had a Halloween one so here's this spooky one Ooh, I actually kind of really like it <laughs> and I found this one online being sold for 17 it was also one dollar and lastly from this one is just like this really cozy sweater dress I guess I just thought it looked really comfy I'm still learning about brands. I see some people get like a shirt for a dollar and sell it for like 300, but I don't know brands yet. I just bought what I thought looked kind of cute. So there's this. I believe I have one more yard sale that I also bought a ton from, and then I'll show you the stuff I got from the fill a bag. I never went to a fill a bag thing, and I thought it was so much fun. So, this place, I was so happy that pretty much everywhere we went, the clothes were a dollar. I see here that people were pricing it more, which I mean, I'm sure they're, wor they're worth a lot more, but a dollar is awesome, so... <laughs> At this yard sale, I got these shorts. They're just guests. I mean, I don't know too much about denim or shorts or blah, blah, blah. But they were new with tag, and it says $48, and it was a dollar. I'll risk it for that. Like I said, everything was a dollar. This one is by Express. I know Express is kind of expensive. I'm not sure if they resell well, but I thought this was cute. It looks kind of lacy. Long sleeve blouse is pretty. You could be used as a cardigan. I really hope you guys can see it. I don't even know if you can, but... Next up, I got this Ancline white t-shirt. I've just heard that name before. <laughs> and I think it's expensive. I don't know, but yeah. It looks really clean for a white t-shirt. I don't know if this was ever worn. This, I'm just a sucker for Halloween, so this isn't really that great. But I was like, oh, Halloween, I love Halloween. Just an orange t-shirt. I know Halloween is almost over, so they might not they might not sell as well, but I wear Halloween stuff all year round, so I'm sure someone out there does too and will buy it. <laughs> like something like this is something I would person personally never really pick out. Even though I, I, I did, but it was Nike, it was a dollar. I know nothing about this, but I thought I'd give it a shot for a dollar. Of course, I'd much rather buy just anime, cute, kawaii, Disney stuff to sell, but I mean, if I buy something I don't like that sells for a hundred, I'm gonna post it anyway, so. I'm trying to post other things to see what works best. I got this towel. I just got this Halloween towel for myself. By the way, everything that I'm showing you from this yard sale ended up being 62 cents. So I think that is super awesome, even though it was a dollar at the end. The lady did give me a discount because I got like a bunch of stuff. So it did end up being 63 cents a piece. Well, that's even more awesomer. And then I got these Halloween pajamas. Again, I just love Halloween. So <laughs> I want to sell stuff I love as well. So these people had Halloween plushes. I bought pretty much all of them. And again, it was 62 cents. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, this first one, guys, I might need your help. So I saw this and I thought it was the cutest thing ever and I almost want to keep it. Look at this. Look at this big old pumpkin belly. But anyways, 
I was like, oh, I wonder where he's from. And so the tag does say Build a Bear Workshop. So I've never in my life have seen a Build a Bear like this. I don't know if this is vintage or it was made to look this way. I believe the little outfit is Build a Bear as well. I mean, it fits in fine. I cannot find this anywhere online. I keep searching. Please, if anybody knows if this is vintage, what is he called, so I can look him up. But I really, really like him, and I've never seen build a bear like this. Like, it doesn't have much information on the tag. It does have, like, a different tag. Next up, I found a ghost, and this little ghost still has his little tag, and this is a Hallmark ghost, and he has, like, like grass on him. I thought he was so adorable. He's so soft, and I got more grass on him. His name is Jerome. And again, I know Halloween is ending, but I would buy this any day of the year. I love Halloween plushies. I want to keep them, but I know I don't have room. <laughs> I love these. This is going to be so hard not to keep all of them. Look at this little bear. He's in a costume. He is a little ghost. Oh my god, I don't know if this person collected like dolls like this, little bears like this, because I absolutely adore them. Here's this one. I think I might keep this one. This is just adorable. Oh no, this one's cute too. Ah, look at it. It is this little skeleton dress. He's all ready to go trick or treat, but not this year because, you know. And then we have a little baby. He's so adorable. And then the last thing from this yard sale was probably the best thing I got. He's missing an ear. Uh, he had an ear a second ago, so I need to look everywhere to see where I can find it, but I found a Mickey Halloween Ghost Popcorn Bucket, and I've seen this online sold for 40 multiple times, and I got so excited, especially because I love Disney, I love Halloween, so when I saw this, I just immediately, immediately grabbed it. Where is his ear? <laughs> but I got so excited when I looked it up, I was like, oh my god, so he was also 62 cents. <laughs> like I swear you can find some amazing things. Now I'm going to show you guys the clothes from the bag thingy. I hope you're still with me. So this store was like senior center and I was like, what? This is where it is? And my aunt, my aunt found out by somebody else that once a month they do the fill a bag for $5. So you can fill one of these bags with clothing for $5. So that's where we went. I was excited. So the clothes was okay. They did not, definitely did not have like incredible clothes. But I thought this was a perfect opportunity to get a lot of stuff for cheap and to learn more about the brands and stuff. To see what I should be picking up, everything ended up being 62 cents. This is all the stuff that I picked out. My mom did get a couple of things as well, so she already took those, but that's what fit in this bag. So first of all, Hey guys, it's me. I'm editing right now and I just realized that the sound of the bags are kind of loud and super annoying. So I am so, so sorry about that for the next clips. I hope you can forgive me. And I definitely will not be having bags when I do hauls again. So let's get on with the best part. Okay, bye. We have this vest. It looked like this. And then the back has like beautiful rose lacing. Lacing. This is by Express again. I'm trying to learn brands. I don't know how much money I can make off of that, but I was trying to look at brands. <laughs> I did a bad job. I pretty much just grabbed everything I thought was kind of cute. <laughs> like this. I kind of want to keep this. It has NASA. It's like a crop top and it is a long sleeve. It has these stars. I doubt this is worth a lot, but I thought it was cute, so that's fine with me. Okay, next up, this one I also just thought it was cute. So this little top. <laughs> it looks like these. I love this color. It's so beautiful and I love that the wording is a velvet. Just just thought it was pretty. <laughs> this one is by Rue21. All right. Well, I thought it was beautiful. It looks very elegant. I like this high neck and I like the ruffles, the everything. Can you see these? It has like mesh at the top and then it's loose and flowy. And then I was trying to fill the bag because I wanted to fill the bag <laughs> and I got this Curious George shirt. <laughs> I doubt this is going to sell for a lot, but I thought it was cute. I got Halloween. You know, guys know I like Halloween. Just this little tiny shirt. Don't know if somebody will buy it right now, but that is perfectly fine. This might be the best thing I found there. This is a rip and dip 
long sleeve t-shirt with a little cat that everybody loves so it has that it has the cat on the sides this is funny right here so this is the tag okay, I don't know if you guys can see and then the cat is under he's waiting for you but I mean this for like 60 cents yes I'll take it this is just like a button up a blouse it looks very elegant it has has a checkered pattern and it is black and white <laughs> I probably picked out like super cheap stuff, but again, I still don't know. This is cute. So I got some baby clothes because I want to try to sell baby clothes as well. I, I want to have pretty much everything. And I think this is new. It still has this attached. This is little underwear. Yes, I thought it was a hat, but no, it's like this little underwear. <laughs> and then it has this and it's like little citrus stuffs everywhere. It's just a little dress. I should have tried to pick out like winter stuff. I got a lot of summery stuff. But what is I thought this one was pretty it's kind of like a peplum style and it goes like these I'm learning words so I can describe things <laughs> I like that it has a little hearts on the uh, straps that's adorable that's pretty much what filled one of the bags minus the stuff my mom got and then this is the other bag <laughs> so I put less stuff in here because of this <laughs> but I think it was totally worth it I really really like this you guys know like I said I love Disney stuff so I could not say no and I found this Cinderella dress and it looks in wonderful condition it's just a little dress up dress I mean it can be used for Halloween but honestly little girls love to dress up so that is awesome and it's pretty I'm not sure if this is like Disney store brand or anything I thought it was very very nicely made I like the details it looks sparkly it looks poofy I really wish it fit me I don't think it will but this took a, up a lot of space. I still think it was completely worth it. <laughs> Found this one band tee, Pierce the Veil t-shirt. I looked everywhere all over the t-shirts for band t-shirts. That's one of the main things I would like to have. I know people love band t-shirts, so I'm sure they're looking for them. And this is the only one I found. I went through the men's, I went through everything, and yeah, but that's, that's fine. I mean, I found something. This is the best thing ever. Oh my god, look at this. Look at how stinking cute this is it also had this little hat right here but it doesn't go together it just they were just together <laughs> I just think it's one of the cutest baby things I've ever seen so I saw this little skirt it kind of has like a punk vibe it's like a little girl skirt but I saw that it was a Mary Kate and Ashley brand I used to have a ton of stuff from that I just thought it was awesome we are almost done I chose this one I chose this one for the style. I think it's beautiful. I would wear this. Look at that crisscross design. Look at this beautiful thing. It looks so comfortable. I love this design. Two last things. I found this cardigan. I also picked out things that I would wear. I would totally wear this. I kind of want this. It's very comfortable. I love like the lace in the front. <clears throat> I kind of want to pick things for all style. I would love to have a lot of alternative fashion in my shop, but I know not everybody's into that, so I want to have alternative fashion and preppy fashion and whatever. I just want to sell everything for everybody. And last but not least, I would keep this if this fit me, <laughs> but it's this little crop blouse and it is backwards. There we go. Oh, how pretty is this? I love it. The mesh. Oh, ugh, it's so cute. Why don't you fit? And that is the very last thing that I bought. So that is everything that is like my first big haul. That everything was super cheap just for reselling. So I'm very excited. I really hope it goes well for me. I, would, I will leave all my shops down below if you guys want to check it out. That would be totally amazing. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And what is your favorite thing? My favorite thing was a popcorn bucket. I really like that shirt that I showed you last. I love that Build-A-Bear pumpkin bear. Oof. But I really hope you guys enjoy. I will leave a more hauls over here if you guys want to watch. And I will see you guys in my next video. You'll be there, right? Yeah, I know because you're just so awesome and beautiful. Bye, guys.